guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I have for you a fun, patriotic gnome scarf wreath. So cute, so simple, budget friendly. You don't have to have any experience making wreaths to make this fun wreath. You do not have to make yours patriotic. You can make it for any season or holiday. I'm just giving you some ideas. You're going to need, for this wreath, you're going to need three of the Dollar Tree scarves. And this one is 63 inches by 13.8 inches. So you're going to need three scarves from Dollar Tree and you're going to need one 14 inch wreath ring also from Dollar Tree. You will also need some ribbon to go with your scarves to make a bow and isn't this one so cute and pretty. I just love the design so you might want to pick up an extra one to wear for the 4th of July. Now I'm taking a little zip tie and I am just going to gather my scarf and I'm going to zip tie my scarf onto the crossbar on my wreath ring. This is just a 4 inch clear zip tie. So I'm zip tying it on to the crossbar and then I am going to take my scarf and I am just going to wrap my wreath ring just like I would if I was using ribbon. I like to do um, these type wreaths with ribbon also, but a scarf works perfect too and it is beautiful, so simple and budget friendly because you only need three of them. So try to get it as tight as possible and make sure it covers the frame and you can spread it out a little bit as you go and you wouldn't have to have three. If you can only find two, you could make this DIY work with only two, and you'll see how in just a little bit. And you could glue a little as you're wrapping to make sure that your frame does not show. This is so simple and quick to do, and you can make this for any season or holiday by just picking different Dollar Tree scarves or wherever you like to buy your scarves. But these are only $1.25 and they are really cute and nice quality too. Okay, so now I've come to the end of my scarf. Same steps, I'm going to take a little four inch zip tie, go to that crossbar and zip tie my scarf to the wreath ring. Don't forget that I am doing a summer giveaway right now. If you do not know anything about that giveaway and you would like to enter, I will link the tutorial that has the information in the description box below for you. That way you can find out what other videos you need to write the two words summer giveaway in. Now I have both ends secure to the wreath ring and this is how it looks. And you could just put a huge beautiful bow there, but I wanted to have some tails hanging down. So I just left out probably about 16 inches or so of one end of the scarf. Then I wrapped that bare spot on the wreath ring, that section that didn't have any scarf on it, just wrapped it a few times and then let the tail hang down. And then I went back with some hot glue and I hot glued the scarf onto the wreath ring, that way it wouldn't slide or move or show the metal. Don't pull the ends too tight because it does move the scarf off of the wreath ring. That's why I had to go back and spread it back out a little bit and add some hot glue. Just be very careful when you use your hot glue. I like to use Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks and Gorilla Glue hot glue gun on the low temp setting. So I'm just adding a little hot glue, putting the scarf on the frame and then holding it for just a little bit until it has time to dry. Did that on both sides. And this is how it looks once it's wrapped and you have the tails hanging down with the two scarves on your wreath ring. Next, we're going to be adding a bow. So gather your scarf and we're just making like a traditional bow. So make a loop. Now just kind of spread out the loop and wrap the other end around that loop and pull it through. And then you have a cute little bow. If you do not want to make a scarf bow, you do not have to. You can make a traditional bow using wired ribbon, which I'm going to do that too because I love big, beautiful bows. So here's my scarf bow and it's going to be on the bottom. Now, next I'm going to be taking some wired ribbon and this is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. Let out a tail, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in my left hand. Going to the other side, making another loop about the same size as my first loop. Going back to the other side, going to make another loop. Check to make sure they're about the same size. 
back to the other side, make another loop, keep it pinched tightly in my left hand, then I'm ready to let out another tail, and I'm going to be adding two more colors doing these same steps. Next, I'm going to take a piece of 20 gauge floral wire, thread it underneath the zip tie on the back. Just be very careful and take your floral wire, thread it underneath the zip tie, and that way we can easily attach our bows together and then attach them to the wreath. So I have my wires in my bow now. Now I'm going to my scarf bow, I'm going to wrap those wires around that one and give it a twist on the back. And then after I twist it, I'm going to take my wreath and at the bottom in the center, I'm going to take those wires, wrap it around that wreath ring. And then I'm going to go to the back of the wreath ring, give the wires a few twists and cut them off short and fold them down. And now I have my bow added and it is so pretty. I couldn't decide if I wanted to add a sign or not. So the sign is optional. It's pretty both ways. Are you enjoying watching me make this wreath? If you are, please hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It is free to subscribe. And here I'm just fluffing and I'm shaping my bow because it gets flat when you attach it, and I usually have to fluff and shape my bow several times. And then next I'm going to be adding a cute gnome sign that I picked up also at Dollar Tree. And there's my cute USA gnome sign from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take a um, cable tie mount and I'm going to um, stick it on the back of the sign at the top. And then I'm going to add some Gorilla Glue hot glue around the cable tie mount. That way I can make sure it stays on. Then I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner and thread it through the cable tie mount to attach it to the top of the wreath. And then at the bottom, I'm going to use a little hot glue to attach the sign to the wreath. You could use floral wire or just wire instead of the pipe cleaner if you wanted to because I use this pipe cleaner as my 
hanger for my wreath to hang it on the door also and you'll see how I just twisted it so you could use wire or whatever you're more comfortable using but it's very lightweight so I think the pipe cleaner will hold it and this wreath is going to be kept inside. So I'm just taking the pipe cleaners, wrapping them around the wreath ring, going to twist them nice and tight a few times, then I'm going to make a loop and twist it a few times and use that to hang it up on my door. And for the bottom, I just took some hot glue and hot glued on the left side and the right side on the back his little feet to the bottom of the wreath ring. You'll see in just a second. And then I also add a little bit of hot glue to keep the scarf bow just where I wanted it. But make sure when you're gluing the little gnome onto it that you move the scarf bow out of the way and just glue it to the scarf and the wreath ring. So notice how I move the bow out of the way and I'm hot gluing the sign onto the wreath ring. And then I'll have to shape and fluff my bow again. And I did um, make sure that my scarf bow, I added a little hot glue so that the loops would stand up. And you could cut these tails of the scarfs that are hanging down into strips and make them into thin strips if you wanted to. That's optional. But you'll have to let me know what you think, guys. And don't forget, if you're entering this summer giveaway, and it is 2023, so if you're entering my giveaway, make sure and leave those two words in the comments. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.